You hate Sunburn? I hate Sunburn. And I ran into a company called Soul RX at St. Anthony Triathlon. So they bragged on how great their sunscreen is that was developed for Iron Man. So if you want some great information on how to not get sunburned, stay right here. The first thing I want to tell you is I am not associated with Soul RX in any way, but I am an Amazon associate, and I will have a link down below for their Soul RX 50, their Soul RX 35, and their Soul RX 50 spray sunscreens. If you're interested in picking up some of this product after watching the final results. So these guys had some really big claims. They claimed that this sunscreen was developed to stay on through a whole Iron Man. We're not talking about that seven hour finisher. We're talking about that person who can put the sunscreen on in the hotel room in the morning and run an Iron Man all day until dark and not have to put the sunscreen on except for the one time. So I had to pick up a couple and give them a real torture test. So what's the science behind this? They have what they call a patented water block technology. It's a broad spectrum UVA and UVB, reef friendly, no animal testing, and it comes in totally completely recyclable containers. It's oxybenzone free, octan octate, octan octate, I don't know what that is, but I'm sure that's something bad because there's none of that in here and there's no fragrance whatsoever so you don't have to worry about that weird sunscreen smell. But what they've done is they've created a sunscreen using their own blending system that makes the sunscreen bond directly to the skin cells and it stays on until washed off with soap. What's really nice about that and it won't run into your eyes and I wear contacts so that's a really bad thing. So I'm telling you what if they can live up to those claims I will be sold for life. So let's let the testing begin. Okay, so here we are at the Jacksonville Zoo. Gonna be spending the day outside. This is one of those days that's partly cloudy, one of the ones you can get sunburned really, really bad on. And we're testing the Soul RX 50 sunscreen versus a brand that I use all the time. And how this experiment's going to happen is we're gonna take, we're gonna test the Soul RX on one arm we're gonna test the generic brand on the other arm. And how we're gonna separate that is we're gonna use a long sleeve t-shirt. I'll be putting my arm in the long sleeve t-shirt, applying the sunscreen, taking the arm out of the long sleeve t-shirt, inserting the other arm, and then spraying the rest with the Solar X sunscreen because that way I can keep the two different sunscreens totally completely separate. Okay, so doing that, I've kept the cross contamination out and we're ready to go inside and try this out. I'm kind of scared because I'm setting myself up for sunburn and I don't like sunburn. I'm at the zoo with Pop John. I think we're going to see a giant sunburn. the Jacksonville Zoo where we spent five hours outside in the bright sun. What I'm going to talk to you about is how I feel. The Solar X arm, I feel absolutely no sun feeling whatsoever. It's not hot, it's not warm, it's not tight. It feels like I just walked out the door this morning. Now my right arm with the generic sunscreen, which by the instructions should have been applied three times, I only applied once. I can tell you my lily white shoulder is looking a little bit more pinkish. I do feel tightness and heat in that. We're having a really, really good test of the Solar X spray sunscreen. I'm gonna switch over to the lotion style sunscreen and give it a shot today. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Florida. The sunscreen is gonna be very, very important. So I'll go ahead and give this a shot and let you know if the Solar X lotion matches up to the spray. test of Solar X 50 lotion. Total success. It wasn't greasy, didn't feel it at all. Went out and did a 30 mile bike ride in the blazing hot sun. Came back, no tightness in my skin, no pinkness or anything in my arms where my bike jersey was when I switched to the run. Another great successful test of the Solar X. 
final and most important test for the Solar X sunscreen. We're going to real world test this and we're going to use it exactly how the developers made this. And that's put it on in the morning and then go all day. I am racing Ironman Blue Ridge today. It's going to be a cloud free sky. That's 70.3 miles of racing. I'm using the spray version. I'm going to give it really good heavy coat on both arms, hands. Legs. Make sure it's spread out all really good. Make sure it's all up underneath where my sleeves are going to be on my chest in case I don't zip. I'm going to go out there and uh, do this race and hope not to come back bright red. my race yesterday at Ironman Blue Ridge. The Soul RX sunscreen worked amazingly well. Put it on at the hotel room in the morning. Never put any more sunscreen on. It was on the race course without a cloud in the sky for seven hours. And then it was at least two and a half to three hours afterwards of getting everything done and getting back to the hotel. Not the slightest bit of sunburn whatsoever. <laughs> What's the cost for this amazing product? It's so great, it's got to be expensive. So I jumped on Amazon, I found some. There'll be links for the 50 and the 50 spray in the description down below. If you click on those links, I will make a little bit of money, very little, which will help this channel to grow. Now, here we go. The 3.4 ounce tube of SPF 50 or SPF 35 is only $14.99 and the six ounce SPF spray, which is my favorite, is $17.99. And that's a great deal considering you only have to put it on once a day. So how do these products rate? My rating system is right here from junk to highly recommended. I use this stuff in every way I possibly could. I got gas on it. I used it in racing. I used it in a theme park. I used it all over the place and I literally had zero no sun issues whatsoever. So how does this rate? For the first time ever, a product gets highly recommended. Staying safe from the sun isn't the only thing you have to think about. You also have to make sure you stay hydrated. So take a look at this video right here. This is Coach John. Boom, I'm out.